Welcome to the Antiques Roadshow podcast. Got a great guest for you today. Now this guest has brought in some really cool collections. One of those is the world's largest TV guide collection. That's right, folks. Buckle up, because this is about to get really exciting. No, it really is, Colt. My guest is Colt Eastwood. How large is your collection, and how far do they go back? I've got some vintage My Little Pony um, toys from the early 1980s, uh, equipped with the high heels, the brushes, and all of the other wow. accessories. Even the, some of the uh, saddles are still in good condition. Uh, they'll all be available on my shop this afternoon. Well, I was asking to about the TV Guide collection, sir, not your... <laughs> Your dolls. What, what are you doing, Colt? No. Uh, welcome. This is not uh, the Antiques Roadshow podcast. Can you imagine what those TV guides smell like right now in 2020s? Probably heaven. Probably old balls. Ugh, that, no, no. Uh, anyways, uh, welcome to the <laughs> Games Talk Live podcast. Of course, you can see we're one panel member short today because, or, or guest short, I should say, uh, because Gaz is nowhere to be found. We saw him about 22 minutes ago on Twitter. He's but I don't know if he's passed bomb. out or <clears throat> can I, I just can I just say I don't know. This this community is probably the most unreliable, flaky, lazy <laughs> and incompetent community in the podcasting scene and I love all of them like brothers and sisters. Thank mm. you, Fonts. <laughs> well, I don't know why we're still talking like that. You know, <laughs> I just, it's just every once in a while, it's like so and so is supposed to be here, but his head got stuck in between two Volkswagen bugs. We will wait until his arrival. Uh, but yeah, here we've yeah got, we'll see what happens. We've got Colt. Colt's yeah, here. We've got Colt. We've got Colt Eastwood. He doesn't have the world's largest TV guide collection. That's all bollocks, people. Um, yes, I used the word bollocks for you in the UK, I guess. Uh, yes. No, welcome. This is going to be a lot of fun today. we got some stuff to talk about. Hopefully, Gaz does join, on, uh, join us, Mr. Septic Sauce himself. Um, we'll <laughs> Magnum see. Westward says Gaz probably forgot to set his clock back an hour. He probably actually did. He'd probably be like, oh, yeah, I go on an hour. I'll take a quick nap. And he probably just conked out and he's setting his alarm mm. because his, his clock changed. The clocks in the UK changed. They went back last night. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's actually an hour earlier over there. So, or, Gaz. Yeah, it would have where to are be. Because it's like nine something there. Come on, nine nineteen. What are you doing asleep? Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's nine, nine o'clock. Jesus, Gaz. You are late. I sucker. don't think you would want to have that. But, you know, yeah. Anyways, you know what, Colt? Um, we don't uh, need Gaz right now. Um, we need him later. So, Gaz, if you, you, you can come in. Uh, just in stroll hour, on Gaz. in here. It doesn't matter if you've taken your jellies or whatever the hell you're doing over there. Uh, come and <laughs> uh, hang out. Hang out for a bit. Um, by the way, uh, before we really dive in today, Colt, uh, I want to ask you if you watched that uh, partner show from Xbox the other day. I did, yeah. Yeah, how was uh, that? How was it? Kind of pointless as far as like diehard Xbox fans, but cool to see the stuff that Xbox is like, hey, we get these games too, which I think might be why they're doing it. But I actually think the the show was a was a test bed. Like, can we do these state of plays where you just put all the uh, all the stuff, all the trailers in, have little you know graphic animation in between? Like, is this like the way to go? And I think the reception was, hey, we like this. Next time, just throw in a couple of uh, hot Xbox items. Yeah, it, it seemed like one of those things. I I, I kind of uh, skimmed through it because some some of the games weren't really my thing. But um, what I saw from what I was looking at there, it seemed like a decent smaller show that they could put on like every few months. That would be cool, you know. But yeah, throw yeah. some Xbox stuff in, into the mix, and you got yourself like a uh, whatever they uh, like like a state of play, you know. Yeah. So. I mean, what are they calling it? Partners, howdy partner stream or something like that. A howdy partner stream. Um, howdy partner. I, I, I think it was a, just a partner show. I, I don't know exactly what it was, but um, maybe the, the chat could tell us what, what they called it. Um, I don't know what they called it. All right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It was, right. it was basically, I was a partner <clears throat> showcase. Yeah. See, Gaz was supposed to be right down here, guys. Gaz is, is missing. 
if anybody can yeah, find Yeah, and I'm Gaz, not filling in for know. Gaz. Like he, this is a. I'll I'll do this for you, Fonz. This is a Fonz's last show for a week or two, or whatever it takes for him to reset up in his new place. And so he's like, Colt, can you and can you and you and Gaz come on and hang out on the on the last one for for a couple shows? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. If Gaz isn't asleep. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, folks, um, I'm in the middle of uh, moving, um, so I won't be back next week. I might be back the week after, not too sure, but uh, for sure next weekend I won't be on. But I'm in the middle of a move and stuff, and I, you know, I was bringing on Colt and Gaz here to, you know, just have a great time today and talk about these games and stuff. Uh, and that's it. Just gaming, by the way. Just gaming, not anything yeah. else. Not anything super crazy going on in the world. Gaming, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, so th- this show, they, they showed games uh, that we were talking about, Colt, getting back to the partnership show. Uh, they they started off with this Like a Dragon DLC, I guess. Uh, is, is it DLC? I think it is. But whatever. It's, it's, it's another Yakuza game. Um, if you're yeah. into that and you're into... Uh, just uh, decor and, and fixing up your living room and stuff, apparently. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, it looks like a lot of fun. But um, uh, they, they went into some other games, too. We, we uh, saw um, the remastered collection for, what was it, Metal Gear? Metal Gear, Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3. And they didn't look very good. Yeah, man. it was the first reveal of the game in Engine was on the Xbox show, which yeah, was it, pretty cool. I, I, saw, I saw that they said that it wasn't uh, like a really great port i guess that that's what they were was just ports of like the hd versions or whatever and they just look eh, it looks okay i they got some robocop going on here but um but isn't the um yeah if you if since you're scrubbing kind of like on the fly yeah what was the there was the ishi game what was the second one um well you can find that while i'm talking about uh i thought the the snake eater thing was unreal engine 5 <laughs> Is it? No, oh, that no, the Snake Eater. That's that's the new game. That's different. I'm talking about the Metal Gear Solid collection that is going to be. You know, so Snake is, Eater isn't this, part of that collection. No, I, it, I I don't know. Is it? Am, am I misinformed there? I I don't know. I don't. You have to bear with me, guys, because I've only played. I don't know. I've only played the but first I know the NES co- I know game the, and the first two PlayStation games. But I know the first three it. remastered games. They're calling it remastered. They're not very good looking. Um, but yeah, the, yeah. the one with UE5 looks looks great. Um, looks really good. They don't, don't show know, too much of which it. One, which one is in UE, UE5 from Metal Gear? Because I thought the it was the Snake Eater one. Yeah, it is. Okay. Snake Eater. Okay. Yeah. It looks, it looks really good. But yeah, the... Um, Boba Fett Gaming said yes and no. That I don't know what you mean by that, Boba. What do you mean yes and no? Yes and no. It is yes, the it is. third game. Oh, oh yeah, he's talking game. about Yakuza. Okay. okay. No, I think he's talking about um, Metal Gear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Snake Eater would be the third one. I played mo- a lot of Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, on the 360. <clears throat> Metal Gear, uh, I, I like I played a bunch Solid. of five phantom dude i played a lot of of, yeah i I played a lot of five as well didn't finish it because i I thought it was kind of weird it just got got too weird for me it got really weird um but it it was an okay game what's up cassie i see you in the chat biff rinaldi i also see you void rat of course boba fett gaming who i've already mentioned troy ski talos yo donnie casada i see you brother um mr j i see you i I see ah, so many good people here in the chat but no uh Colt, it, it was an okay show. I mean, for what it was, it, you know, like I said, they, they could do one of these every few months and add some Xbox titles in there, and you'd have a pretty decent show. Pretty decent show. Um, that's not the screen I could use because Gaz ain't here. So that would just be weird uh, to have an Xbox. Yeah, like they can, oh, that's okay. People, at this point, people know Gaz was supposed to be, and he'll be on his <clears> way, but. Um, Hopefully. You know, Gaz, yeah, I mean, though, really, he's a flake. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Cole. Well, you can't expect Xbox to do a a little a state of play like this that focuses mostly on exclusive things, but I do want them to at least try and make these short 20-minute shows. This one was actually 30 minutes. Make them 20 or 30 minutes and have a little more Game Pass highlights. I think maybe half of the games were in Game Pass. They're still pretty good. 
but I thought most of them should be in Game Pass and then mm -hmm. have one thing that we haven't seen enough of or or it doesn't have to be a big announcement or reveal, but like maybe if it was just going to be one of the games that we've seen a little bit of uh, gameplay, you could see a little bit more, I don't know, or something, but we'll see. Yeah, I think yeah. they're just testing the waters. It's a good thing. They got Tina Amini from who used to work at IGN and she is leading the the showcase program. I forgot what it's called, but she's in charge of of all of the public facing uh, events and streams that will happen for Xbox. And she's also in the podcast with Malik and Jeff Rubenstein. So those she's going to be in charge of all the events going forward. And she'll be leading, I would assume, the next directs, which we get maybe twice a year, which is still another really good thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm just hitting up Gaz really quick because I I just thought of something cool. So his time went back an hour. Ours hasn't mm -hmm. yet. I'm wondering if right. he thought ours has as well. I think that. Well, if he did, promise, right? then he would be here on time with us. But are you sure? Because we're an hour ahead. Yeah, so that's why he's waiting an hour because his time went back and he, well, he yeah, didn't change the maybe. clock. I don't know. I, How's I that know. math work? Let's see. If uh, if he didn't change his clock, like uh, Magnum Westward said, then he would think he has another hour until he needs to be here. Yes, that's how it works. I don't know. I'm always on time. I'm, I'm not sure how to, how to postulate how that would work when you don't show up for something, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and talk about, um, talk about something else. Um, Xbox raising prices for the series S in Brazil. If you live in that country and want to buy an S folks, it's going to cost you an extra couple of hundred bucks, apparently around $700 us Colt. Um, do you, do we know why this is happening over there? Cause I was reading a few articles and I can't really, I, I can't understand why exactly. Like nobody's really come out in and said what the reasoning is for this, you know, big jump uh, in price. There's a big economic issue going on with the inflation and value of their currency. So steam and Christ increased prices 54% and the series S gotten increased when you said 700 us, man, that's what it says. Yeah, Just north yeah. of 700 us dollars. But here's uh, here's the issue I don't understand. I, I I get that they're having some sort of economic problem there, but at the same time, why is the Series S now costing almost as much as a Series X and as much as a digital PlayStation Five? As as far well, they're saying the PlayStation Five is. I don't know how much they're not. I'm trying to see if they say what the PlayStation Five costs, but they said the Series S costs more than the digital PS5 in Brazil right now. Yeah, but yeah, according to I'm this saying. report, which is a day old uh, right now, that this was a planned. Well, the words are, um, it would be boosted to 3,600 reals, if that's the correct pronunciation reals, of the yeah. Brazilian uh, currency. And I'm just learning this as I am fortunate enough to be have an international audience. Yeah, Brazil, just, a just like VG in the chat, it says Brazil's stupid ex uh, expensive for console gaming. He's right. It's always been that way, but this is just even dumber. Like, this is just crazy dumb. $700 well, for a Series S. There, here's what Yikes. Xbox said. We remain focused on delivering the best gaming experience, one of the best suits the game budget. Uh, in the coming weeks, we will begin reporting price adjustments for Xbox Series S consoles in Brazil. The SKU base, the Series S, will be updated at the Brazilian retailers where Series S consoles are available. We kept our console price for many years, and now we've adjusted it to $3,599. $3, While the console remains an important part of this ecosystem, we'll continue to offer great games, skills, and options for gamers in Brazil so they can play as and where they want yeah but not the series x yeah that's weird it, yeah it's closer in price to the series x now which is just odd so the people of brazil just save up a few of your reals and just purchase a series x at that point well like, how much is a series what? x because maybe the series x is way up there and they've left the series s way low and now it looks really bad i just people wouldn't be I mean, outraged so from if what I've read, is getting... it's closer to the Series X price. That's all I've seen so somebody dumb. put. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, they, they didn't raise the price of the Series X. So I don't get it. I don't freaking get it. Um, and I can't really find like solid proof of why this is being done um, just for the Series S. Doesn't make sense to me. I said I said that currency wrong. I don't know how you pronounce it. Rias? Um, it's 8,000 for a Series X. 8,000 are 8, um, the, the currency in Brazil. So uh, do you have anybody in your chat? Sorry, I was looking at the information. Do yeah, anybody is anybody in, in the chat, chat that, that knows uh, the Brazilian that, currency can help us out with that? Like, uh, you know, sometimes I do have some people from all around the world. We, we get people in our chat, you know, from everywhere. So pretty sure there might be. And, uh, and everyone says Brazil loves Xbox and they're, they they're do. right. Yeah. Brazil does have a very, I think there's, they might be stronger over there than they are for PlayStation. Well, I don't know about now after <laughs> making the series yeah, this series $700. Is a Jeez. And it's gotten so bad that when I'm tweeting about other games, I put out a post and called for Xbox to reverse this. And this has been very effective, but it's gotten so bad. I've had Brazilian accounts and fan accounts replying and pushing me to to say something in other re non-related tweets so they really want this uh this fixed yeah yeah i, I look it, apparently they're saying they're gonna in the coming months they're gonna be talking about cool you read the statement from xbox uh but uh, pr you know pricing adjustments are gonna come um it just it, it again I, I just want to find out why this is happening with the Series S specifically, the, this expensive. It doesn't make sense to me. It's very, very, I mean, it's it's there. It's being anti-consumer there, Colt. Well, <laughs> That's the way I look at it. And I would definitely, I would never want to damage control this at all. I'm just, I just don't understand the ratio or the proportion of their currency at all. And I don't know what the final and earlier prices were, but yeah. if this, this forum that I looked up. See, okay, so now says eight thousand for here. I'm going to write it's eight hundred eight hundred eighty seven dollars for the Series X in in Brazil, eight hundred eighty seven dollars. So yeah, you're only a no, hundred and eighty seven dollars yeah, short. You have to look in, in their currency. So if yeah. it is eight thousand uh, for for Series X, I'm going to write this in the chat so people can visualize this. And they're boosting up the Series S to R. 3,600 for the Series S, okay? If you look at those two numbers, those numbers in proportion look like, if it's, I don't know what 8,000 means because I'm I've only lived in the US and I've never traveled abroad. <laughs> but if it's 8,000 for the X, a 3,600 Series S looks proportional to me. So I don't know what they had it at before. Maybe they had it dirt cheap for a long time, but... <sighs> They said they tried to keep the price low for a long time. Maybe they had it way under price before. I, I don't know. I wish somebody could give me that answer. Yeah, because if it's eight thousand reals, Brazilian reals, or yeah, whatever, how, however you say it, I don't know. I don't want to butcher it, but that would be like fifteen hundred bucks by if you convert it to U.S. So I I don't know uh, if it's I don't think it's fifteen hundred dollars for a Series X in Brazil. Currently. All I can find is somebody is telling me it's eight hundred and eighty-seven dollars, and that's kind of what I've read in the articles. That now the Series S is priced not too far away from the Series X, so okay. that would make sense. Here it is. Here it is. It took a jump, and I'm gonna write this in the chat. Why do I keep going to the wrong tab? This the Series S was this amount. It was uh two thousand R's. It's going up to thirty six hundred R's. So they must have had it really cheap. Uh, but what's the Series X in U.S. dollars? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that, like I said, if you just, you know, you, you take that 8000 and you convert it to U.S. dollars, that's $1,500, almost sixteen. So that doesn't, I, I don't think they're paying that much over there for Series X. Mm -hmm. Sounds Yeah, I crazy. wish I was better educated on that. But yeah, there's going to be somebody, gonna be somebody in the chat who's, lives anywhere but the u.s who can kind of help us understand why it's so serious is how much kangaroo meat in australia surprisingly yeah. expensive yeah nanopolymath yeah. says from what's happening with inflation and exporting series s was underpriced compared to the x s is half the price comparable to the x the ps4 the old ps4 is a thousand 
USD in Brazil. Wow. The conversion to US dollars doesn't work. And that's probably why oh, we don't that's, understand. Yeah. That conversion okay. just you just can't make a Okay. Yeah. Uh, but in any case, the Series X is dang expensive over there. Nice gas here. It's too much. And, 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 and where is gas? You know what, folks? Yeah. Let's play. Gas would have known. Let's play. He spent money all over the world. Let's let's He's call, wasted money. Let's try to call gas. Call him. Real call time. him on the show. Yeah, do it. I don't know if you can hear that chat. Do you hear the ring? Well, what happened there? I thought he picked up. What the heck was that? I thought he picked up. Nope. He's not picking up, folks. He's such a trash panda. He's a trash panda. We'll try again in a little bit. All right. Hopefully, he's a little weasel. Um, Shut up, you little weasel. (laughs) (laughs) Little weasel. Uh, Little gremlin. That's that's what they like to call him out there in the streets. Gold. uh, You know, before we dive into some of the other stronger topics here, uh, what have you been playing lately, man? Um, What I, I, I know, but let the chat know. Yeah. Um, today I just finished the Phantom Liberty DLC after putting almost 90 hours into a start over the campaign that I nearly oh, that's 100%ed. Right. Yeah. You yeah, started I mean, I got, over. I, I couldn't believe that. And I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, oh no, he's going to get tired of this by the time he gets to Phantom Liberty, because that's a long game. The main campaign is pretty long. I never, I actually didn't get tired of it. The problem was the games were coming out while I was replaying a game I loved and I, I, had, I continually felt pressured to. Oh, what happened? Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Sorry. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. We got I'm, him. Why am I so dark on the screen? You're Boys, dark. I'm so sorry. Is it dark for you guys? Yes. Yes. Oh, Very dark. I know. Oh, maybe, Phantom maybe Liberty maybe dark. Are. Yeah. Anyways, oh, uh, welcome. Uh, your ISO I, is very low. Yes. I did did you think that you had an extra hour until, or what happened? Yeah, the the, the clocks have like gone. A... The, the clocks have gone forward. He's uh, full of story. shit, folks. Don't believe anything this man I, says. Hey, really quick He's before we jump out of this. Yeah, no, really no. Go ahead. Talk about the... like Alan Wake. Yeah, yeah. Hold finish on. your thoughts before, before before we talk about that. I want to ask Gaz. The Series S went from two thousand R in Brazil up to thirty six hundred R, and the Series follow me here because you've spent money around the world okay the, the x is 8000 they brought the series x up to 3600 the series s used to be 2000 were they like way underpricing that for a long time or how does that work i mean i don't know how that uh, converts in pounds but uh it was pretty high uh i think generally in brazil anyway um, maybe lower there compared to ours, but still, man, like the GDP is in that. Go ahead. That? No, I, I hit that uh, on accident. Yeah, I was I was <laughs> wiping something off and I hit it. I thought it was going crazy. I was like, am I hearing sounds yeah. in my head now? I'm going crazy. Yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> the power uh, of. Yeah. No, no, I'm just kidding. That's not, that's not uh, go there. <laughs> um, the xbox is way overpriced then never mind i think i i, I think it was way overpriced in my opinion yeah um I, and really shouldn't and that's why cloud is so uh, looked upon quite fondly in brazil and game pass because they really what and most of their games that like the most popular games are mobile games like multiplayer pvp games on their mobile like serious kind of say core gaming on mobile like that version not like PUBG on mobile they have like mods of that, so you know it's it's an L, man. It's an L. I don't know. How, I don't know how else you can style it out as price raise, like you said on, yep. on Twitter, cult. Like, just swallow the cost. You shouldn't do this, especially in Brazil, man. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know how to get all the information, but it this page says on the globalproducts.com says that that in Brazil a PS5 is forty seven hundred, and a Series X is eight thousand. According to what I was finding, but we don't have anybody in the chat yeah. who can confirm that it lives in Brazil. So it makes it sound like the Series X is almost double the price of a PS5 over there. I don't know why that's <sighs> happening. Don't know. But they're, don't know. They're, everyone's upset about the Series S, but I'm like, to, from what I'm finding out, because I don't know very much, it looks like this, the both of the Xboxes are priced way higher 
compared to the PS, the PlayStation. Mm. So, or stupid. <laughs> stupid. 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 All right. Yeah. So getting back to Phantom Liberty, though, you, you beat that today. Oh, yeah. How did you yeah, feel yeah. about the DLC, by the way? Um, it's very, very cool. Uh, the, the game's just, the game's just so well made. Like it's, I just laugh at the people who are like, I'm not touching it. It's too buggy. And they missed out. You, you and I know, right? Fonz. Yeah. They're playing uh, um, spider cube. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me get I, I really into this can't. today. I I've got a, I've got a kind of issue and apology to some of the folks out there that were calling uh Spider-Man pretty buggy and a buggy mess. Um, I have got this dreaded cube bug, and let me tell you, restarting check, uh, checkpoints don't fix it. I've uh, changed suits to fix the problem, uh, but now the problem is about 90% of my suits are cubes now. Spider -Man. Spider -Man. Spider -Man. So I can't even change into some of these suits I want to change into because they're cubes. Oh, I, just wait till you get Miles' final suit. Oh, I, I've already know. I, I've heard about it, and I don't want any part of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but here's the thing, though. Um, the game should have been more polished, man. Uh, it, it makes no sense. I was having a bunch of visual bugs, but come on, a cube, that's that's going way too far. Like, that's, that's just... <laughs> Tony's love sugar quality, cubes, baby. don't they, guys? I don't want to be a cube. All right. I see some people I laughing and joking. Oh, I wish I could have been a cube in my game. Yeah. And here's the thing. I've gotten all the updates, Gaz. I've updated the game. It's current, but I'm still spider oh. cube. So <laughs> the, the reason why they may actually introduce the cubes is because ponies love sugar cubes. So <laughs> there you go. They came into the market. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Folks. New ponies. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back to the Antiques Roadshow podcast. I have a guest here. His name is Gaz. He's brought a really Hi, interesting piece today. Gaz, what have you? What do you want to share with us? I was going to put a watermelon in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I want to share no. with you. Um, all right, that's all the SCDs. time we have today. Right. We're going to go back into Games Talk SCDs? Live. Uh, thank you. Share. Uh, here's here's the thing. SCDs. But, it's no, uh, no, let's okay. Uh, Thank you. Show Thank you, Zback Writer. Zback Writer says uh Amazon has the Series X for forty five hundred and the Series S for twenty five hundred. It's gonna go up to three six hundred. So the yeah, Series X and PS5 are the same price. Yeah, so basically. it's closer to that eight hundred and eighty seven dollar price point I was saying that when you convert the Series X. So yeah, you're gonna pay over seven hundred dollars for a Series S, and it's only eight eighty seven over there. I, I say only, but for a Series X, so th that's yeah, that's not good. That is that that is anti-consumer, folks. Why would gonna, they do that? Yeah. Why Brazil? I don't. I don't. Brazil. Get it. I feel I don't like it. it's more Xbox territory in terms of consoles as well. They seem like yeah, they're... yeah, yeah. It, it was because yeah. for a time, remember in the 360 generation, I've talked about this before. It was really popular because they actually manufactured 360s there too. So oh, really? right. yes, oh. they did. They had a they had a uh, place down there producing those. So it was really big for the, them. Like we said at the beginning, right before Gaz came in, there that Steam has incre increased prices fifty four percent in Brazil. So maybe this is one of those things where PlayStation is going to be like, "Oh crap!" Now we have to. But Xbox is the last one that should be jumping in first and saying, "Time to hike price the yeah, time to price it's the not a good look. It's, it's not a good look. I'm with Gaz. It's no, an L. Not. But uh, look. Okay, we've shit on Xbox enough here. Let's go ahead and shit on PlayStation, why don't we? Let's yes, talk yes, about let's do it, bro. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about PlayStation and how they've been laying off developers, even firing people like Connie Booth, who was there, a, a key part of PlayStation for 34 out of the years. Booth. 34 years. They get rid of her. Um, it, it, I, you know, I don't know what exactly is going on there, but David Jaffe put out a video guys. If you haven't seen it, go watch it where he has inside sources talking about this situation. And it was indeed a firing. It wasn't, uh, something where Connie just left. They got rid of her and you've got massive layoffs going there, uh, going on there net right now with several studios, including media molecule and rumors that the de developers are very upset over the pivot to gas games. 
So games as a service. Uh, <laughs> now we're hearing a rumor that there, Sony, this is brand new, Sony's actually pivoting back and actually going to scale back the gas games and let developers create what they've been creating you all this time. That? So Head I don't that? know. I don't know what's going on. That, guys. But here, here's the thing, though. All I know is this sounds like a bit of turmoil within PlayStation. Gaz, what do you make of all of this? Going to you, buddy. Mm. Gaz is like a little squirrel over there. He's like... Mm. Yeah. Mm. He's got to think cubes. about it while um, he's eating sugar yeah, cubes. Wait, Gaz, do you believe that's true? Are they really going to dial back these ga gas games and go? Well, it all depends on what's actually going on in there. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, and... <laughs> Uh, I d I don't think so. I think we were talking about this, we were talking about this on Jaffe's show uh, on my show. Yes, <laughs> Jaffe's show. Your, uh, Jaffe, your show. Jaffe's show because he t when he comes on the show he takes, he takes over. over. Show. Yeah, he does. He's been on here before. Yeah, he's taking my show. Over. <laughs> and um, well, you alright, guys? <laughs> Sorry, he, he played guess. the YouTube video again. I could hear you guys three times over. I was like, what? Um, basically, <laughs> what? Jaffe was alluding to was the fact that Bungie coming in uh, would have been quite significant because they actually put Naughty Dog in their place. So think about what's happened here. But uh, Sony have said, look, uh, Naughty Dog, we want Bungie to have a look at your game. So think about the setting. They're all working and then they're subject to an audit from Bungie, basically. And then Bungie do this audit sit down with the management you know maybe they must can you imagine go back to the senior management and say this is not good enough or do they go with uh naughty dog and neil Druckmann, and sit down and have a meeting together and say look we've had a discussion we looked at it and it's not feasible for whatever reason most likely the gas mechanics weren't good enough because it yeah, didn't yeah. Be financial they said there was no longevity money. in in the title so didn't have legs yeah, so that's the problem. If it didn't, it doesn't have legs, and the game is fundamentally not good, then Bungie's going to be doing the same thing on all the other ten gas projects because they're going to have it like an like multi PlayStation so desperately for had forsaken the multiplayer side that it had to spend three billion for another company to acquire, which is a remaining independent. But also, they are going around using that studio. Presumably, this is speculation, but presumably, well, they've done it to Naughty Dog. So who's to suggest that Naughty Dog are not looking at the other studios? They must have looked at the other studios and said, okay, the this is where we're hearing about this um, anger or, or discontent among inside PlayStation because some studios will have said that they don't want to do the gas. It's been forced on them. And now Bungie's like scrutinizing their work. So it seems like it could be potentially, potentially, as long as it's um, speculation, but it potentially doesn't it looks really bad if i was an xbox fan and this was happening in the background this basically sounds sounds like 343 the old leadership you had all these people coming in you got people fired people leaving mm -hmm. uh you're hearing discontent already internally they, they canceled it like put the game on hiatus so these studios are fucked if based on what we're hearing if this is what it's bro connie booth was instrumental she, her, this is a heavyweight. People like like David Jeffrey was saying, "Oh, I don't know who she is. I've never heard of her before." Well, she's fucking big. David Jeffrey made two PlayStation Legendary games, is telling you, and you're still like, eh. "Well, if like, if you look, stupid. I never heard of her, her name famous. before either. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I'm not going to be one of these guys. Oh yeah, you don't know Connie Booth? Yeah, she no. But I did look into her, and she has been a, a, oh. a key component of their success for 34 years. You can't deny it once you look into her. Uh, what what she has done all her career. So. Um, yeah, she's been a part of many, many games, many studios, um, brought in a lot of young talent as well. She's, she's somebody that was very important within Sony and PlayStation, uh, more specifically. Yeah, so it, to deny that, or to somehow to even bring something like that up, it's just stupid. It, it's just like a fanboy thing, right? Like, oh, well you can't say anything cause you, you never heard of her. It's like, you haven't heard of a lot of people that are behind the scenes. The, it, bro, it's the because they're behind the scenes. Just metal said, said, bro, she's important. Just shut up. Do you know every what? developer who makes great games? No, you don't. You don't know the names of every developer. So You didn't even learn about Harry Styles that makes um, <laughs> the good Naughty Dog games till the other day. Wasn't that his name? Harry, Harry Belafonte. Styles, Harry Belafonte? Yeah. Yeah. What was exactly. His name? <laughs> uh, it was, uh, was it 
uh, who are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the guy, guy from you said that, that made that made the good last of us that you really like Harry Belafonte, but he left. He doesn't work there anymore. Oh, or, you're talking about Harry, that Harry guy. Henderson. No, 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 uh, man. I, his name eludes me Harrison, right now. See, I Harrison even forgot Ford his name. or something like that. Um, I always do this to my, to my friends and family. They hate it. I'll say, oh, you, you have to talk about but Harry Belafonte guy there. Who? It, it's it's Bruce, Bruce Straley. Bruce Straley oh, yeah. was the guy. Bruce Straley. I was, I was yeah. close. A lot of people so didn't close. know about him, but he was a big key component behind The Last of Us, the very first game, and the DLC, by the way, the first DLC. What, what was his role? What was his role? He was like the lead director. The oh, lead really? director. He was huge. Where's he, was, he now? Where is uh, he? he left Naughty Dog out right after the DLC. So he's he wasn't oh, a part of The Last of Us 2, and it shows, people. It shows. Oh, damn. It shows. Damn. But, who took over his role? Uh, you, you know Neil who did. Neil Druckmann. Neil Druckmann. Is, he's he's, he's done everything over there. What, like, was that his role? Lead Bruce director? Wayne. No, I, I think I think he was like uh, lead writer, lead director, lead everything. Like Neil, that's Neil's game, man. That's that's Neil's yeah. game, and it shows, right? It Piece shows. Of shit, Neil. Yeah, you know it, it happens. Um, but no, look, uh, Colt. Uh, let me ask you. So, of course, we just talked about we don't know who this Connie uh, Booth really was until after this situation, and you know she was yeah. a key component there. But looking around, I want to ask you about all the layoffs that are taking place there now. What do you think is going on? I mean, a lot of these studios are support studios that they own, but... Look, I just want to... I just got to say that before I met Gaz, I was a very pure gaming neutral who never <laughs> console warded. And when you ask me a question like that, I start to laugh and think... Is it loaded? <laughs> is it start loaded? I thinking... Uh, what? I can't see it. Um... I don't I like console warring myself, but you know, yeah, sometimes I mean, it's fun uh, to poke. It's for immature but this babies, is not, but hey, I'm not making hey, fun Xbox of Xbox is I'm out not, here. Xbox are here promoting. Yeah, and, and, and here promoting and firing. I, I get that. You got to bring the sauce. But layoffs, man, layoffs are never. Life, layoffs are never a good thing. Look, it's it's terrible no, that some of these people no, are getting tough. laid off. It's but tough when people like I Jim Ryan know, get shiz canned. Listen, why? But it's why are they getting laid, it's, laid off? It's, it's difficult when people, you know, we shouldn't make light of when Jim Ryan gets shiz canned and has to march down the road and tell people he was tired of flying. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not respectful to make fun of, you know, how he's, you know, same age as Phil and he's already done and he's going to go work at the Frito Lay <laughs> factory. Okay. We're not going to make fun of that because we're more mature than this. Hey, right, anybody guys? who thinks that it wasn't him being nudged out, uh, you know, I've got some <laughs> beachfront property in Kansas to sell you. Okay, because right, yeah, it doesn't. Well, I mean, they brought the, his, the they brought everything. They brought his interim CEO sense. in and just placed him in there and said, you know, yeah. you're you're handling the calls on Monday. And Jim's like, what am I going to do? I'll go buy a lawn chair. You go back to the Frito Lay's factory. Make Oof. sure the bags, you know. Are all good. Bro, he's just like, like well, Jim Ryan left because he didn't like to fly so much. <laughs> well, then use Zoom, man, or use Microsoft Teams, blood like the rest of the uh, fucking world, bro. Uh, Microsoft he's like, Teams, he's, he's like, like oh. he's like, oh, every I'm time tired. he loads up, no. he's like, he's like, I'm tired of going to Brussels and trying to talk to the, uh, you know, the the, the CMA okay. out there. And uh, can we, can we just, we side. just gotta say, I know we don't want to derail your show because you run a very professional yeah. show here. No, I, I don't run no hey, professional hey, show. Shout out to everybody. Who's on the show? It's not. Hit the like button if you're if you're having a good time. Sean puts on the best show, but yesterday, David Jaffe made fun of Sean for wearing a (laughs) crying like a bee Jim Ryan shirt. (laughs) Oh my gosh, he rinsed him live on the air. Who who made fun of him? Who made fun? Cry like a David David Jaffe's making fun of Sean uh, because he had he had his like was that. Fuck that bitch, and it had David Jack. Uh, oh, it had no. uh, Jim Ryan's face on it with <laughs> wow. ears, and it was, it was like so the gold funny. lettering. Yeah, I thought you were talking. Like, so, time so and money to get that For some yeah, reason, we're talking about PlayStation. I thought you were talking about Sean Layden. I'm like, is he making fun of the uh, front of the tiny coat he used to wear all the oh, time man. on stage? Remember that he used to wear <laughs> the tiny like, coat. <laughs> What do you mean, tiny coat? Uh, he barely, barely pinched it together. Like, oh, yeah. Did, did yeah. you really? I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, there was times but, the suits were a little tight. I, a little tight. I, I had to dress up it, yesterday, and I, I bought out my black suit that I haven't had the the length of the pants set yet. And I'm like, well, let me see how this thing fits. And it was like, I got it before COVID. And I was like, oh. 
trying to button oh, it. Oh, man. My it's mouth new guts like. <laughs> hey, but let's make sense of this, guys. Let's get back to this. Why do you think Sony. that there's layoffs going on at Sony, at PlayStation? I, I, I think it's pretty crazy that the pivot. I mean, I think Bungie seems to be the one instrumental in this. It, Bungie. Yeah. Pulling back Naughty Dog will send a signal to the rest of the studios, perhaps, or a warning message. Like, if we're going to do gas, because I think the gas um, climate is also changing. Uh, you were seeing loads of gas games uh, mm. just get shut down. <clears throat> so there was a point of loads of gas games were popping up. Everything, see, and they were thriving as well, short term, even, even uh, that makes sense. City had its own thing, like vibe. So now everyone's galvanized. Now they're making gas. So Sony's like, look. We need to go beyond the console. We need to do mobile or oh, everything. They're trying everything. It's exactly what Microsoft are doing as well. But as they said, we have to do multiplayer because these big budget games that you spend two, three hundred million, and then you have even in derivative format come out every three to five years. It's not where the money's at because they yeah. look at what the f everything else is bringing in, like well, freaking maybe Roblox. Worth forty billion is probably worth more than Sony. Maybe they had some <laughs> of these smaller Sony. studios helping to work out on gas Sony. games that they've taken a look at and been like, ah, no, this isn't it, and we don't need your services anymore. By the way, or maybe they called in some developers and they sat them down and said, "Do you want to make gas games for us?" No. Okay, you're gone. Yeah. I don't know. It, speculation I think everywhere. Like, it's, it's and these studios and said, "We need you to do this." Bro, that's what that's what yeah, I read. What what David Jaffe said was quite very, very poignant about the about the fact that Sony Studios, because of these budgets, are scared to take risks. The, so it's going to be sequelitis. You're going to get freaking oh, why am I full screen? Ah, oh, yeah. Ah! Um, you're going to get what you're going to get is basically sequels of Ghost of Tsushima two. You're going to get more Sp Spider Man. You're going to you love it. You'll get another God of War. Spider DLC Cube. Remember Wait, Spider Cube. Don't you love how they just launched Spider Man two and the developers are like, yeah, we're we're thinking about Spider Man three. We're thinking you know make put out a Spider Man game every year. We, we'll be good. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll I don't know. It's just, look, oh, it's all speculation. We could sit here and speculate for days on why these uh, layoffs are going on at Sony, but there's it, it's it's not good. What, whatever is going on over there right now, it's it's not good. It's never a good sign when they're laying off a bunch of developers. That's never a good yeah. sign. Um, and and also yeah. people that have been there there thirty four years. That isn't a good sign either. Um, so I don't know. Uh, th this is a topic we can go round and round about, but let's 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 go ahead and move on. Um, Insomniac developer Brian Intahar. This is the one that was also talking about MJ being OP, and he doesn't give a shit if anybody really gets pissed off at that. He doesn't care. He made MJ uh, OP in the game purposely, and uh, you know that's that's what it's going to be. Like you're you're going to deal with it. You that was his it. attitude. Um, but that's not why I'm bringing him up. It's it's more that uh, he brought up an interesting thing on the in that interview where uh, he's revealed that Wolverine is going to be a, a, in the same universe as that Spider Man and Miles Morales characters there. So, uh, huh? Yeah. What? So Wolverine will be in the same same universe as there. He he's he's given things to. Uh -huh. Yeah. Are you yeah. dumb, bro? No chance. Yeah. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Wait, why, why are you why surprised? Not? Why are you surprised? We knew this was going to happen. Come on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That cannot be the case. That cannot why? be the case. Well, they're going to need somebody OP to help Wolverine, too. MJ's in that same universe. She's got her stun gun. It's going to be okay. Wolverine's it's like, going to so be okay. Tired, lost. <laughs> so tired bringing MJ. You gotta rest. It's gonna be okay. You gotta rest. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, bro. How can you have? How can you have Wolverine in the same universe? We're talking about. Everyone's talking about a mature Wolverine, third person, like linear, bloody I, game. Bring the violence. Dude, it's gonna that. I know. And you're gonna put that in that universe? It's an L if that's the case. We've been saying it how many years? We've been saying it's got to be mature, right? It's got to be mature. Wolverine. It's the one PlayStation game I'm ex exclusive that I'm really excited for. 
and you're telling me it's the same universe as fucking Spider-Man that looks so shit that I can't even be asked to play that shit game with a shit story that you guys keep fucking masturbating to this Whoa. crap basic, yes. like normal, like it's so, bro, you guys are shit sending clips in our WhatsApp group and the, the shit is crap. Like, so the story is like, there's this indie. There's a like, lot of side uh, missions that are terrible, find downright terrible. Hello. What are we doing? Spraying shit? I thought it's Spider Man. Spider Man. I, the only good thing about Spider Man I saw was this traversal it looked really good when someone turned on HUD off and used all this. Like, it's the gas it show. It is impressive how quickly the levels load and then you're it's never even played it flying through. Um, and it looks good, but hey, it was, am it was amazing in Just Cause 3. Looks like ass. Spider Man looks like ass. No, it just look, I don't, I, I, I don't understand everyone's like oh you like that so today i'm playing freaking alan wake 2 and i was like oh you are you suddenly like third person games so i'm like bruv what about alan wake 1 which i reviewed you probably don't even play that game you pony f and then you're like oh you like third, third person games it's not a sad dad game it's not like fucking derivative story from well, the hold, hold on hold on hold on hold walking on. dead or god of war and like it guess, 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 so, guess, please guess, guess. this let's is get a back story on track. mature for let's refined get, individuals yeah let's get uh, back on track yeah. so so that I, I could see your 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 point on wolverine being in this universe especially i mean shit um I mean, shit. but hopefully hopefully this gets uh, you, you know it's not going to be in new he, he shouldn't be in new york anyway so it's not going to be new york it'll be a different are you, are you confirmed here was this speculation no this it's, it's pretty much confirmed it's wolverine is a part Being of in the, the same universe. universe doesn't mean it won't be a mature game guys I, yeah I, I think we it can all be. speculate that Whoa, wolverine will be I'm tweeting this right now there is yes. a couple of uh there is a couple of moments in even spider-man 2 that is pretty uh, mature, I think, that uh, I was surprised to see. I was really surprised to see. Um, but let me t let me talk to you because there's a lot of naysayers out there, and I have to I have to talk to those people out there that were coming at me for saying that MJ is OP and all this, and and they're they're trying to tell me no, she's not because if she gets seen, that's all. But here's where I I'm going to blow all your arguments, all your defense out the window, and there's no way you can defend this whatsoever. Okay, MJ Stun Gun takes out everybody that she faces. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but everybody that she faces that Spider Man also faces in Spoiling. one shot. Everybody knows this. In one shot, right? In yeah. one shot. Spider Man yeah. takes several punches to the face, throws Ooh, manhole yeah. covers at him, does all kinds of stuff, uses his gadgets, can't oh, do, yeah. it, you know, it, it takes a, a lot to get them down. Yeah. But here's the thing where you guys cannot refute. Peter yeah. Parker is into making these gadgets and stuff. You're telling me he doesn't have gadgets that can work as powerfully as that stun gun. He can't connect that <laughs> stun gun to his wrists. Boom. Everybody's lights out in a hit. No, it's just weird. It pulls you out of it when you see her well, do that. that. It pulls Shit, you out of it. Section. Yeah, absolutely. No, but the thing is, you, people don't understand that. It's so dumb. Dude, the, the clip that bit someone shared, it was like something from fucking Assassin's Creed just going around. Bzz, bzz. It was, no, AI's it was Watch Dogs Legions, bro. Yeah, yeah there you go. Watch Dogs Legions, Why bro. in the <laughs> F chord are you playing as Miles Morales, Peter Parker, Spider Man, Spider Man? No, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to get this guy. Mary Fonto. Why are you playing as Haley? Look, look, You're look, playing look, as look, Genki look. Sock. Okay, yeah, listen. Like, I don't understand what why are you why do you have to play as everyone? There's there's a scene where you play as Miles Rouse's mom Shut and you have to shake the pan and cook the yes, food. I, I know, I know. Look, no, Fon kidding. Fonto Fonto <laughs> Sir says Spidey always pulls his punches. Yes, we know this. So you're telling me that MJ doesn't? Oh, yeah. You're you're telling me that MJ's stun gun can do that but he can't for some reason he can't make the same stun gun for his you know to put oh, on his bro, wrists or BB, even use BB the gun himself says, this is makes such no nitpick. sense it's so well, it, it makes no sense it's not a it's, nitpick because it pulls you out of the experience when you play as mj taking yeah. out the same people in one freaking hit it's, it pulls you completely yeah, out wait a minute i don't care oh. about the immersion it's like why are you putting the game to a grinding halt and having me play as the 40 year old red hair lady who's wearing the 1991 leather jacket 
What, why are you doing this in the game? Why am yep. I playing as why? Haley going? Like what? What? What is that? Like you're flying around. You're yep. you're like Rico Rodriguez soaring with your wingsuit. You're beating the crap out of enemies, and all of a sudden it's like oh, from just cool. So yeah. Like yeah, why yeah, are you exactly. doing this? <laughs> And I was sitting here, I kid you not. Okay, you guys don't understand. I have a 12-year-old son. He's nothing like me. Thank <laughs> heavens. He's nothing good. like me. We're Some sitting right that. here, and and, he, and I'm letting him play and he's uh, enjoying parts of the game. Huh? And, he's, and he's playing as, as Haley, and he's like... <laughs> he's, wait, where is it? He's like... He's got the DualSense 5, which dies every five minutes. And he's like... I go, isn't that cool, Not bud? Isn't that cool? You did that in, in, in 2013 on the PS4. Hey, I, and I look over and he's like this. He's going, and he's not like me. Like he does, he's not anti anything. He doesn't often criticize. He's not nothing like the a hole that I am. And I look over and he's like, oh, come on. Like I've seen him trying to hit the skip button. So yeah. you're worried about the immersion of how she can one shot people with the taser gun. I'm like, it's why just annoying. I, and, why? and yeah, no, I'm with you on that too, Colt. Nobody asked to play as MJ, and the majority of the gamers out there didn't like the first MJ stealth missions in the first game. So bringing yeah. her back uh, was it's a slap so in the face. And even br this Brian Intahar, honestly, even freaking in acknowledged that, but just says he doesn't care doesn't care what yeah, we want yeah. and it's like how do you not care what gamers what? want Wait. to play as Wait, it's a spider-man game no he says, no I don't it's give just a his shiz. attitude and he said he don't give a shit that she's op and yeah. stuff like that like it, is it's it because the women empower her or something like that like make you know really and it's not it's even like, about the women empowerment or anything it's it's just at the end of the day it's about i want to play as spider-man it's, it's a, Spider -Man a really game. really good game why it's do you not throw hard. this stuff in there to extend the experience because they want to break the, they really have a i don't even like i think the, the I, gameplay is, is skin deep and that's why they need to desperately make sure they change the pace otherwise it gets stale that's what my yeah, opinion I, I, I don't even like, like the, the moments where they was so good you wouldn't put these side shits out there because yeah. it's like turning you, into what the fuck is it? But no, even when you play as Peter and you're like riding the bike and stuff, I don't like those moments. I think they're stupid. <laughs> they they make no sense. What what's what's with Harry? He's like Harry's always. Harry. Who is the guy that you said he looked like? And you are hundred uh, percent correct. Adam. Uh, Let me see if I can pull him up. Adam Denver he, or something like that. I can't remember the guy from Al Workaholics. And uh, he's in that new movie, Outlaws. I can't remember his name. He's really, really funny. What uh, is his name, Fonz? Um, I'm going to look. I'm going to look him up right now. It's like it's, it's like a, a, his last name is a D and ends with an R, like something or something like that. Okay. Let's see. Anyway, Let's yeah, see he it. looks like him. And, and pe people are also complaining. Why is everyone smiling? Like there's these touching moments and the people are like, and the character are like, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know, this, this, this is what it looks so cheese to me. Is it Adam, like, oh, was, no, not Adam Levine. That's Adam the singer Levine. from Rune Five. Uh, Adam Divine. There you go. Is that what right, it is? This, yeah, I think this, that's what this, it is. This is the guy it's right cool. here, right here. Are you putting him on screen? Yeah. Well, I yeah. gotta catch yeah. it. Yeah. That, 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 that's 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 yeah, look at him. He looks like Harry Osborne in the game. That's He's what like, Harry Osborne. Peter, I'm gonna saying. need that suit of yours. Peter, <laughs> I'm gonna need the suit. <laughs> Go to a different one where he's doing that uh, I quit. Write that name and write I quit. And th that's the face that that uh, Harry always has in the game. And, and keep in mind, cause people are going to think, because Gaz hasn't played it, but I really, really like the game. But it just, I smack myself in my huge seven-foot forehead. I'm like, why do you keep <laughs> doing this stuff, putting the game to an absolute crawl where you're shooting hoops? He's like, People, look, people like it. Like uh, Tango, I, uh, sorry, Phantom says this can't please everyone. I love the game and you can't change my mind. We don't try yeah. to change your mind. Obviously, you enjoy it. We're just taking the piss. Uh, but yeah. really, explaining why the game isn't for me. I, I, I genuinely, if it was good, and I, I would play it. I'd play PlayStation games if they're good. Um, but Wolverine, I gotta being say in something. This fucking cheese universe. Like, are you that just uh, let me see what Twitter says. I have to I say something. I have to say something because I played it. And when they revealed Spider Man 2 in 2021, whatever that was, I was like, 
I wasn't excited like everyone else. I was like, but I just did Miles Morales, and I like yeah. eighteen months before I did Spider Man One. I really liked that game, and so when I it, I had a hard time getting super. <laughs> so now I'm seeing the clip of Adam on your screen. Um, when I played Spider Man Two, I'm like, okay, I get in the game, and I'm like. Yeah, this is the great thing I always liked, but some of that excitement kind of gets vacuumed away because the Spider-Man's been out almost every year since the first one came out. 2018, they had Spider-Man. 2020, they did Miles Morales. 2021, they did the remaster. And then 2023, they did the sequel. It's like Nick Marseille was making fun of me for bringing up the Batman suit, which was brought up in the news two days ago. Um for the Robert Pattinson suit supposed to come to Arkham Knight. And I was like, man, the Arkham, uh, the Arkham collection needs to be remastered, brought up to 60 frames on PlayStation and peace and Xbox, Xbox because yeah. it's so amazing. It's the one, it's the best superhero game in the world. And Nick Marseille was mad. It's like, Oh, what an opportune time to talk about Spider-Man. I want to say, bro. I said, bro, they literally brought up Spider-Man. They're giving out a free suit for Arkham Knight. And guess what? When can we talk about another superhero game? Because Insomniac's going to put out Spider-Man every year for the rest of our lives. Like you cannot avoid it. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. that was uh, that was just. Is, me is it, 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 uh, I've literally asked on Twitter. Yeah, like, is this actually set in this universe? Because I find it so shocking if that's true. Because that's so tone deaf. Yeah. And people, people, yeah. and people's reactions like, what? 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 What, what the fuck? Like as if they also haven't heard. People about have this made videos bit. about it because um, it's it, the guy uh, Brian Intahar didn't come out and just say it, but the things he had mentioned about the game, uh, it it put it in that universe. Um, so that that's fully expected to be there in that universe. Um, that oh. said, uh, I I don't look just like Colt said. I think that they can still make it mature. And there is a couple of times in Spider-Man 2, it's, it, it looks very mature to me. There's a couple of points um, that happened um, that I was, I was shocked mm -hmm. at what they showed. I was really shocked. Um, I, I couldn't believe it was T for teen. Um, but Wait, how far or how close are you to finishing is a better question. Uh, pretty close. Crazy. Pretty close. Like you're on the last like battles or whatever. I think so. I'm trying to think, think if so. you saw I'm the thing. Sure. Yeah, I, 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 I think I, I, I definitely think it's the same one because it, in, it in blew Times me Square? away. I was like, "Holy crap, that happened!" In um, Times Square. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know exactly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, "Okay." Yeah, and I then, did not then know it was going to show that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. No. You know, no. You know, if Wolverine yeah, is in the same universe, that means Sony are so terrified of not losing restricting the audience basically um and taking risks as well because they're going to make it less insomniac or everyone. playstation don't know it could be playstation i think it's insomniac <sighs> well, playstation they'll have this has to be a conversation like that insomniac can want a budget they've obviously proven themselves and they may say look we can make a wolverine game and then sony might Sony may have suggested, oh, Insomniac themselves might think, like, yeah, fine, a non-mature Wolverine will get to market it to the masses who are X-Men fans and, and have, like, this moment, I guess. But really, for the way the CGI trailer played, it felt a lot more... Well, it could it can, it can totally uh, still go uh, the way of Spider-Man. Yeah. It kind of looked like it'll be a lot more mature. I think it'll be more gritty i i think it's going to be mature I, I i really still think it's going to be a mature game my only haven't insomniac alluded well, to there be a mature universe? title i don't understand that well naughty dog has of course last yes list. the game can be the game could be more mature and still be in the same universe yeah they just I think you know so. and a lot of people are speculating that um insomniac will kind of push their sony santa monica influence and make that you know make it an over the shoulder I'm not, slasher type game. I'm not done really, with the really game. Awesome. I'm not done with the game, but I'll I'll even say with Spider Man, it it feels to me like um, Spider Man. They may push Spider Man out of the equation. Yeah. They may kill him off. They may do something like that in favor of Miles. I could see them doing that. Um, and and don't get me wrong, I like Miles Morales. I'm not a big fan of this Spider Man. This Peter Parker, I'm not a fan. I like Miles way more in this game than I, I did like, in yeah, the 2020 game. Yeah, but I like yeah. Miles even more than I did Peter yes. Parker in 2018. I, do, I don't care for this Peter Parker. It's it's not... So, I, I don't know what it is. I don't like his character. I don't like the way he... 
I don't like the story, the narrative between him and MJ and stuff. The the lack of real I like don't see the emotion. chemistry I don't or the, see the relationship chemistry. or the yeah. attraction at all. I don't see it I, at all. No. It it, it doesn't make Weird. sense to me. It's 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 like non existent and there's times and moments that I'm not gonna spoil spoil anything in the game where I'm just like, What? Like why? I I don't like this story very much. And I and I see people saying, Oh, it's the best Spider Man story, it's so good. I'm like, Well then you're saying the other Spider Man stories were complete shit. Because if this is the best, I, I don't know what to tell you because mm -hmm. the other two stories weren't great for me, but I did like Miles's story better than Peter's story in the original game even. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I teared up at the end of 2018 um, at the very last <laughs> scene. Like, I was like, wow, oh, that was really, Bro, really well done. Cult Classic Cage but, in the chat says they might as well kill off Peter. He sucks he, because he sucks. <laughs> he does suck. In my opinion, I, I don't like Peter in this game. I, do, I don't like him. Don't like MJ either. Says the Flash on the CW is as better storytelling and characters than what we were experiencing on Spider-Man. We sat and played the whole game together, tra taking turns, um, playing through segments. And um, yeah, and I had to ask him because he's 12. You know, I'm like, what? Is, like, I'm an old person. Like, this is, of course, a lot of this stuff is going to yeah, be corny. Yeah. yeah, so. It's funny. That's cool that yeah, you do I that think though. It's a good game though. It's a good I, game. You know, you were I don't playing. Know if, yeah, go ahead. I just uh, people gas put me on the spot and asked me what what a score I would give it, and I was like, I don't, I don't really think about what score I was going to give Spider Man, but a lot of that that air being like pushed out of the sails for me has kind of um, taken. I don't know. It's got a ninety. What what can I say? It's got people a ninety. Me. Yeah, yeah. It it does have a ninety. I'm not there at 90 at all it, with this game, and I, I haven't finished it. I'm close to finishing it, and I'm doing a lot of side stuff too. And I and I ask myself why. Uh, well, I do know I'll why. Tell you this. I'm going it's after like I, I'm I'm it's building percent better than Starfield. I'll tell you that much. Uh, uh, no. According to according to Open according Critic, to, it's five percent yeah, better. Five yeah. percent no, better than Starfield. But looking at like the reason why I'm doing side missions and stuff is just to go after those tokens and things you need to upgrade stuff, right? So that's what I've the been doing. The world's way better. Uh, the The variety is like fifteen times more. Yeah, than but Miles I've been Morales and Spider Man. I and I liked a lot of that stuff. I've, I've been I really doing it for the, that. The Mysterio stuff was awesome. So, right, what Delilah said to Wow, y'all shaking my head. I, I wonder what that's about, but um, no, but seriously, it, I, I do I do like the have, I do think yeah. the mechanics are really good. It's fun. They've improved on so much with this game, but damn, like you know, the side missions suck, and for the most part, anyway. There there's been a couple that's been okay, but for okay, the most part, let, they've been bad. Let Let me Real ask bad. you about the side missions suck because I I don't some of the side story character stuff bothered me, but. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I liked fighting. Like, there's the part where you fight the the Sandman's. Yeah, minions. but that gets old real quick. I I'm tired of that. Yeah. Like, it it does get old. And you know what's funny to me is you're constantly either battling the those or you're battling the hunters. What happened to like battling like the the, the street brawlers and the and the mob and and stuff like that from the 2018 game? Why couldn't they incorporate that too? Just to, just to have it in there to have more variety of enemies. It, it would have been better. Well, but, you fight you fight the street, yeah. The, the, the people in the crime just on stuff, the street, but, yeah. But that's yeah. just those are short. Those are very fleeting moments, um, which yeah. I can't say for certain moments where you're walking around aimlessly. Sometimes, like Coney Island, that that mission, I hated that Coney mission. Coney Island, the Coney Island mission. I, I, I don't like Coney when they, Island. Coney Island. I don't like when Coney they take, Island is a is a traditional famous uh, carnival that stays year round. I think in New York. Some of that was kind of neat. Like you, you do some of the, the whack-a-mole. It's kind of funny for a minute and you don't have to do it, but then a fight breaks out and like a big set piece things happen where things break apart. Yeah. And I'm like, that's really impressive. Yeah. And they no, took the time. No, it looks so good. I took the time to say, <clears throat> look, you're going to chase this enemy through buildings. So we're going to take the time to make sure that he breaks through stuff as simple as it can be. It looks impressive at high speed. Like they, through, why breaking are we still talking about Spider-Man? Why are we still talking about Spider-Man? Yeah, no, because... Oni you know, Island. Because it was, a, it, it was something. It was, it was something to talk about, okay? Because this Brian Intahar, all right, said that he didn't give a shit. I have a Brian Intahar name. You he hate didn't give this a guy. Shit that, why do you uh, hate him so much? MJ what do he do to you?
He made MJOP more, more. He's she's stronger than Spider Man and Miles. Like that, that is crazy. They have all the gadgets, the powers, but they can't bring those hunters down as fast as oh, good old uh, Mary Jane Wick. She can take them out in one shot. It's it's crazy. Have you guys played Alan Wake? No, I have not. Let us know how was Alan Wake, guys, because I have not touched I'm, it. I'm yet. quite early into it. I'm quite early into it. But what I've experienced is has it really on Xbox? grabbed me. Yes, it is, and it's on your Xbox because I got it. So play that game. Is you it in Game it? Pass? You, you... <laughs> no. <laughs> Game Pass. No. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm exactly sorry, fans. And the game is like has grabbed me very much because one is um, it's very beautiful, like one of the best looking games I played this year so far. Like it is stunning. Like I, I'm struggling to think of a game that looks better than uh, this game. Uh, Alan Wake 2 looks Really? Amazing. It looks that good, huh? It really does. If you, I, I, and you're going to hate me for this. I'm playing in quality mode. Uh, yeah, only because, I hate you. No, I'm just yeah, saying, I know. No, no. no what, pace, what made you the, do the pacing that? Of the, game, the pacing of the game is, it's slow. is much slower. Yeah, well, way slower. It by is a remedy game. Played Alan Wake, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So if you played Alan Wake 1... I didn't even test the game out on 60 FPS. I went straight to quality mode. And then since then, and even doing the combat, it's very slow. It's uh, very impactful, though. And this is the thing I keep talking about. Slow down the shit. Make it tighter and more controlled. And make it give it the... Oh! And the game actually has a lot of that oomph in the combat. It's like I've just gotcha. got into the combat using the torch. And then when you bust a shotgun shell into these... What the hell is this story? Um, these these are scary as hell, man. I was playing that at like 4 a.m. Um, but the impact in the gameplay felt it's really satisfying. And you see the detail of all this gloop coming in between their bodies and shit. And it's like amazing lighting, what amazing now? like shadows being casted, gloop. Uh, yes. And it's just the game visually looks, it has some weird weaknesses where I don't expect weaknesses. And if I find it kind of jarring, the voice actress, the, the main one that you carry uh, control at the start of the game, she's inconsistent, wildly inconsistent in her delivery. And I'm I'm like, the audio is not matching like the visuals here, Blads. Like, like she'd be like, do these really cringe one-liners. I'm like, oh, well, I shouldn't leave litter out here. I'm like, motherfucker, you're in a forest with these <laughs> space ghosts. And you're like, you should leave litter out here. Shut the fuck up. Just There's agendas the to be had. Come on. The, the <laughs> agendas to push. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, I, it, was, it was just like, um, yeah, th that was, I found a bit weird. And other bits of the voice acting is really deep. And the story, they, th this is the thing you guys will love, even if you didn't love the games that much. Quantum Break. The story of that mixed with control. The worlds and universe seem to be colliding. So it mm -hmm. explains everything. Um, kind of. It's like, okay, like, all right, you're going to reconcile these universes. And then the, the character... Well, okay, this is not a spoiler. It's in the trailer. But the same characters are appearing in the from those universes in the game. It's like, yo, what? Uh, so it's just weird. It's like, you're like, oh, shit, that's... That's uh, tell me about this uh, thirty frames mode. Like, how does it feel? It feels like, fine. it's not that. It's good. Oh, here we go. It's, you won't thirty complain. frames you won't feels complain. smooth. I think but, but, smooth. no, no. Play it and then tell, come back to me in earnest and just say, does that feel bad? You know how hard it is fun. to get me to play a remedy game. <laughs> I can't no, stand you're not remedy. Well, remedy? You're, you're not even Max Payne one and two. Oh, oh well, Max Payne was was good. That was the last couple of games that I liked from them. Um, yeah, after that, I, I, I thought they were way too slow. Even Control, I don't like Control. I have control, I have I Control. Get back to. Red Wolf play. in the chat yeah. says he prefers to play his games at thirty FPS. Uh, and I was uh, I was one of those guys who well, he's he's psychotic. Man. Never have you ever talked 30. to Red Wolf in a party? <laughs> the guy is literally insane. Insane. Have you ever had both of us in a party? Yes. Nothing ever happened. Both of you are crazy. Um, crazy. Shout out to Red Wolf. Um, I, I'm. I was always one of those guys that, that if 60 is available, there's no way I'm touching 30. And there's been a couple games where, well, for me, I had I had 60 available for Starfield. And I played the first hundred hours on Xbox, and it 
what was the other game I played in quality mode? Quality. Yes, and I. Hey, listen, cold classic you cage. <laughs> You're that? in the trash bin. She, she goes. She goes. Put me in the bin. Listen, I had the option. I picked the quality. And, okay. You know, slow paced, thirty FPS. If you know anything, these games are playing like movies. The order 8086, all is forgiven. I understand now. Um, like lower FPS, um, but slow down. For some games, the pacing, the, the cinematic quality of a of a of a movie is diminished completely uh, if you really up the frame rate you you can't go but past that's a, that's a cinematic that's a movie that's live but, action it looks completely what, different than a video game but, but yeah but the way this game plays and the way they've shot it like if it's trying to mimic those kind of like noir like thingy vibes and it doesn't need to be you have the option by the way this is just a choice i'm just telling you, you big 60 bastards i will <laughs> stick to the 30 bastard because i like it bastard okay Dang. i like it i don't think so not gonna happen <laughs> well gonna the reason happen. why i brought that up guys is that thank goodness that they're making the ps5 pro because i think 30 frames is going to become the only option the farther we get into Unreal Engine 5 and and fully next generation games because most of what we played has been cross generation or built from yeah. built for a PS4 and Xbox One and people don't understand that developers are running out of room with these consoles that were really 2019 tech made in 2020 and, that, and that's it. So you it. can see that they're not they're not that powerful anymore. It's so bad that Onos Alex, who we watch a lot of his content, he's been complaining about. High level cards that came out a couple of years ago are not good enough for games that are coming out right now. He was complaining about Alan Wake's performance on PC, where they're just saying, "Oh, just get a you know, just get a twelve hundred dollar card, and you can run it at sixty, but you got to use DLSS and all this stuff." So developers are already running out of hardware speed. Well, That's you could look at things like DLSS as a crutch, but at the same time, I look at that tech as pretty pretty amazing tech, and that it does help out when. When developers push these games so uh, graphically and you know use things like uh, ray tracing and stuff dlss really comes uh, yeah but you know the they're, they're complaining so. like, the reason why gaz is not playing alan wake 2 at 60 fps because it shimmers like crazy at low resolution pushed up with with um fidelity super resolution on the series x oh yeah and so a you lot did of people see are saying alan wake just, for and Alan Wake 60. 2, it's, some people are saying it's not worth the trade-off of getting 60 FPS when the image just looks so bad. And I'm playing Cyberpunk, and in motion, Cyberpunk's image quality is pretty low until you stop for a second. Like, yes, all kinds of weird artifacting going on. But I was just so danked in the game when I was playing it. But it's, it's a testament really? to, yeah, I'm absolutely. Danked. It's a testament to how bad it's getting on these consoles with new games that they, they're just not going to make it. And it really ticks me off that Xbox is not even considering a yeah. pro console or a mid-gen console. Um, they're pushing people to PC, which is no skin off their back. It's where they're making their money anyway. The whole yeah. point of the series Monica was that they have iterative consoles and something that could be more powerful. But now they're left yeah. they're forsaking that. But that's a different conversation. Ultimately, play Alan Allo Way 2. BG doesn't like it. I've seen on Twitter that he thinks it's like the, the puzzle section really are up abrupt stop to if you want the typical gameplay and that's where you might guys you guys might feel the same i actually like the puzzles like the game that makes you go in real time in the, the ssds working by the way on these consoles instantly switches into another place where you're in your mind and you have solved the puzzles here and i think it's interesting I don't, wait, wait, not, wait what, my, what what game is that this solving I don't wait. that's in a, a, yeah no it's a no it's a pass to pass yeah, yeah I, I don't think i'm not in, like i'm that. i'm not into the whole puzzle thing like no there's puzzles yeah. it's not puzzles it's just it's basically just putting pictures on a board and just pe <laughs> oh like that. okay you know, like, that's different like detectives do well yeah. Charlie you says about, BG you're like, hates he, everything the way you <laughs> described it was like a, another senua game or some hellblade like you're in your mind no, and no, there's no. puzzles i'm no, like what no, are you no, talking no. about no, no. I, that's a in no mind, for me she's basically she's in another cabin like saying the graphical everything's okay. not crazy and you just and you're just basically a filing cabinet and she's just basically trying to <sighs> remedy you know, in their filing just... cabinets every freaking game yeah. remedy <laughs> there's a filing cabinet to go through why it's <laughs> so true they love their filing why? cabinets because you 
Jesus. Love I would have finished I control if I didn't the, get know, lost. The remedy like, offices hours. just full of filing cabinets everywhere. They're like, hey, where's this? Oh, just look in the file cabinet under F for fail. All right, go ahead, Cole. <laughs> I, I met Sam Lake at um, at the G Summer Games Fest. Like you stand there and walked up to him, and that dude is handsome, and he's really tall. And I'm like, stop at the filing cabs. He's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dealer tried so hard to get me to play Control. Like I almost beat it on the Xbox One X, and then when I got the version on the Series X, he's like. Bro, you, I think he bought me the he other bought version. Me like, the game. He bought yeah, me he like bought the full the game. Like, and like, the, 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 I go, yeah. And I'm like, I love the combat and the interaction of the physics is so cool. But I'm tired of walking around section B looking for a, a way to get through the red door because I, I don't that, understand the It was in the, the map filing cabinet. It would tell you everything you needed to do. Out of the way, and I'm like, push it. Yeah, yeah. you, you, you should have walked just rummaged through that. That's why I cabinet. wanted to finish Phantom <laughs> Liberty Danny before I started Alan Wake. Fons, try but, the game. You would love it. Believe me. I, I loved Alan yeah. Wake 1 on the 360. I loved it to death. It was a great game, and I'm looking forward to this one. What else thank you got you on, that the, on the topic chat. list for the, us today, thank you for Fons? That, uh, super, I'm going to go through the Super Chats real quick. Thank you very much right. for that, Danny. Um, I've got Sith Lord here. Thank you very much, Sith Lord. Uh, he says, hi, guys. When you were a kid, what was your favorite candy and favorite costume for Halloween? And what what is your favorite candy now as an adult? Interesting, Colt. You guys are gonna make fun of me. No, oh, go ahead. You were the kid that liked candy corn, didn't you? You were the candy. I corn like kid. almond joys. Gross. I Gross. Know. That's such I a, know. Like, I, well, I Snickers are my favorite, but I, I don't know why I like almond joys. Maybe it's because I'm Snickers. I love. Well, because they had oh, nuts. Wow. Mounds don't. Yeah. <laughs> right. Remember Especially that commercial. Like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Yep. Yeah. 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 How many well, and it's funny because no one will eat. They'll be in a bowl of Halloween candy and no one will. Nobody the, eats uh, those. The white yeah. No, no I, I'm not a fan of. So I know coconut. a lot of people love coconut. I don't like coconut. Some people hate it. Yeah. So what I'm about not... gas? What's your favorite candy? You, you fat tub of lard. Uh, mm, candy. Uh, that's a good question. Do we still have, do you, you guys still have candy? I'm trying to avoid it. He's like, I got uh, gummies. <laughs> that's yeah, the best kind of candy. that's what you eat. Uh, Thanks, gummy bears. <laughs> um, no, oh, in no, terms of like, uh, I, I love. All right, my what shit. sweets do you I like? Since you're being such a, oh, I have weird taste. Like, I love. I I I can just murk sugar. But I like um, like sour sugar stuff, like you know the like little rolls, like yeah. you're so like. Yeah. But you feel like you know that kid in the stadium going, <laughs> with a blue shit in yeah. her face. You That's are that I'm kid, like, by oh, the way. You really are that kid all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's and I love it. I love that's it. Not true. Do it again, guys. What, what's the reaction? Can you give us a Dreamcast right. guy thumbnail real quick? <laughs> Why did you do it so fast? <laughs> all right. You said One real quick. Uh, all right. So, costume, favorite costume when, when you were a kid. What What was your favorite costume? Um. Well, we didn't hear your candy. Did you say? When I was yeah, a kid, I used to love oh. um, hmm. crack. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Oh, he really shit. said he went there. Oh he went God, there, chat. people. That chat. was one time. And I, I did not oh, know. Chat. I did not know what it was. It was one time. <laughs> Gosh. And it it haunts me till this day. Oh shit. You and Dealer. Like <laughs> Dealer used to sing that song to me all the time. That uh what was it? The Usher song? It's seven o'clock on the dot. What was it? Yeah, that's what you're <laughs> Uh, and he'd be like, dog. I'm hunting for dog or something. Like, yeah, something <laughs> stupid. Yeah, yeah. Have you had and dog? On the yes, one yes. Time. Unfortunately, I have one in the Philippines. And I did not know. I did not know what it was. Yeah, but, but you didn't know. No, I didn't know. I was, I was seven years old. I didn't know. I didn't know. But like I, a Bobby apparently, Lee moment, guys. Yes. Like a Bobby you, had Lee lucky, moment. You, had, you had last thing for dinner, bro. Like that's it. it apparently, like, I, apparently, I enjoy. I enjoyed it as a kid. 
And oh, my mom was shit. livid. Yeah, my mom was Fucking livid. He loved it. Yeah, ah, man. I didn't like, know then. I didn't know. I've never had a chance. Never would. I love if dogs. If you tap on Fonz's shoulder, he'll go. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! You bastard! Uh, no, you know what I used to like a lot? Um, those really sa sour gums. <laughs> Cats. You <laughs> never had. Never had. Um, I got... <laughs> uh, th those sour, those sour gum gumballs when I was a kid. I used to I love, love those. Bro, I, I love, love those sour love those. gumballs. I still love balls in my mouth. Nah, uh, balls. You what? I, I love those as a kid. <laughs> I love sour. I love sour patch kids. I'm I'm actually crazy. Um, oh, when I go to the yeah, sour candies theater, are great. Yeah, I'll get sour candy. patch kids and a Mountain Dew, and like I shouldn't because it always makes me feel. But as an adult, as an adult, I prefer if if I had any kind of candy, oh it had to it would have to be dark chocolate. I'm I'm into dark chocolate. I like that. Ooh, yeah. Look at this guy. He's so yeah. sophisticated. Uh, sophisticated. I know. I I, I just I, I I I love the bitterness of dark cho chocolate so much better. Than regular yeah. milk chocolate in my head. What's your be I mean. what best cake? Best cheesecake cake? is the right answer. Cheesecake. No, I, cheesecake? I, I love cake. I love uh, pretty much all cake. I'm like that. I'm like the uh, fat yeah, kid. I love all fonts. cake, bro. Yeah, exactly. You can tell. I, <laughs> I eat a lot of cake. No, I don't eat a lot of cake now, but I love cake. Cake's so, great. Uh, no, that's costume, a, that's, that's actually a very costumes. inopportune time what, to talk about. What's your favorite costume? He your asked. House. The man asked. Let's go with costume. Well, my favorite costume, dra dressing up an Arab. Um, you get, like, free, like, seats, like, what? available to you on the train. You get free seats. That's all I got to do? <laughs> it's just it won't work for me, Arab. right? Maybe say a couple of one-liners and boom, you've got... No, okay. Not boom. Yeah, no one will sit uh, by you? Oh. Damn. <laughs> you did not say that. Uh, oh I, you know what my favorite favorite costume as a kid was the mask. I actually loved the movie when Jim Carrey oh, did really? it. I was obsessed. I was obsessed with the mask, man. Like it was just dreamt about it. I just loved it. It was such a thing, so cool when I was a kid. Um, yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah. Fonz is gonna love. Like that's so funny that you say when you were a kid, because that's that movie came out when Fonz and I were graduating high school. That's how old we are. My, you're gonna love this, Fonz. My favorite costume was my mom made it for my brother and I. Greatest American hero. What the fuck? <laughs> she died. <laughs> well, I gotta was look. Greatest Why is he American hero. Me? Oh, he probably left. He he left. Yeah, he's I, like, I, I had to get new batteries for my mouse. It died. I can't even I do know. anything <laughs> for the show. Uh, okay. One one man show here. So I gotta I gotta yeah. replace well, the batteries. American How hero. exciting! Yeah. Replacing batteries on the show. Um, yeah. Did you did you hear what me, Fonz? No, I did not. Sorry. Oh gosh, I was like that. As they just fell flat. My uh, my favorite costume my mom made for my brother and I was the greatest American hero. Oh yes, yeah. yes. You know, and it wasn't even a very that? good one. Like she went and bought the red, the red uh, material, and then she bought like the the shiny gold, uh, like stitch on stuff. Now Cole, and made like the lightning bolt. Sing the like, song. You know that. Sing the song. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. There you go. That's that's yeah. the theme song. It was cool, but I mean that we were Loved really it. really young, and my mom made the costumes for us, and we were so excited, and you know ran around the living room, and yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, you know, my favorite costume as a kid, because uh, I was really into him, was a uh, He-Man costume. He-Man costume. So. <laughs> dog show oh my god this day e-man costume like he man was it like a Masters bear chest of the with universe the, with the, the yeah but it was um, a whole thing like artist. you put on and i just thought it was cool it was like puffy was it, muscles and stuff was it was it the plastic mask with the yes, white rubber band it really was it really was <laughs> it had like the little holes in it it really and you was. would walk around and you would <laughs> yeah you would walk around that mask on while you're trick or treating, and it'd be like, "Yeah, yeah it really was." Um, it'd be like dripping sweat all over your face. But you know what? Um, yeah, we need we we need to get past this. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, to the next super chat here. Um, thank you, Sith Lord. I appreciate that. Uh, we reminisced too long, far too long, yeah, we did. Sorry. over candy and costumes. <laughs> but you can let me know in the chat which candy and costume you really liked as a kid. That'd be cool. And did you eat dog? Yes or no? Um, all right. Ultraman 
with the super chat. He says, hey, Fonz, Gaz, and Jolt, not Colt, LOL, uh, donated to the GoFundMe, brother. Oh, thank you very much, Ultraman. I appreciate that a lot. Awesome. Uh, I still have that in the, uh, the description of this video. Um, I'm still trying to raise money for my father's services. If you can donate or even just share it out, that would help out a lot, too. Thank you very much. Um, let's go on to Joseph Robertson with the five dollars. He says, I want Colt to arm wrestle Gaz and have Fonz be the commentator. I love you guys. I watch you guys all the time. I thank you for that, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. And we hang Gaz out all the time. Off. Gaz and Colt and I, we hang out in like WhatsApp or party chats. Like we're always talking every day. Don't read that. It's though. fun. It's fun. We have a great time. Uh, but yeah, you guys need to arm wrestle to the death. To the death. Gaz will pull my arm out of the socket. It's already messed up as it is. Well, Gaz is like 5'4", so he can't even reach you. I'm just kidding, Gaz. You are not 5'4". Why, why are you mucking me? How big are you, Gaz? How, how tall are you? He's how much eight. you weigh, Gaz? How much how you weigh? I, in which is the What's your BMI? No. Uh, <laughs> What's your BMI? What's my BMI? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a body He's sizing 17 you up. saltiest gamings. He's like, I'm too stone. No. <laughs> 17. Oh my God. All right. Like Danny Bash Daniel. Thank you very much for the $2 super chat. Fonz Alan Wake 2 is a don't miss out. $49.99 on PC, by the way. $49.99. Oh, geez. They get it good over there. On PC. Yeah, that's why eventually I will build a PC when I can afford it. I can't afford it right now, but eventually I will because, you know, that seems like the place to play. That's where all the cool kids are at these days, you know, with their mods and everything. So I don't know. And better yet, the 60 frames. That's what I'm really going to be there for. Anyways, folks, I mean, look, that's all the topics I got, guys. Um, if you have anything to say, you guys want to talk about anything, go ahead uh, and... Uh, we, we can talk if you know anything else going on with the gaming news or whatever. If not, we'll, we'll get out of here. We'll go. We'll go somewhere. We'll go have dinner together. Sure. I think, I think that's, that's all that has really gone on. Like, I didn't want to sit and make videos about Phil's over at Activision hanging out and and taking pictures and and sarah bond's the new president thanks for oh, watching yeah, we can talk about that sarah bond becoming new president i forgot about that that was on the agenda but i skipped topic. it i skipped it for some reason i don't know why i didn't scroll up and see that but yeah sarah bond is now president at xbox and we have matt booty got a promotion too well what, what was matt booty now what's what's he doing now he's head of xbox game studios now he's head of all of the studios, like all of them. That's like it seems like the same title, though. Well, no, it wasn't because no. Matt Booty wasn't allowed to say, "Hey, Redfall, you're not coming wait, out until later." Why wasn't he allowed to say anything about that? Him or Phil, they they all just decided to let Bethesda and ZeniMax self handle their own publishing and their their own decision making because they were still so new. And then they learned, oh, we're not doing that again. That seems so Matt Matt is not in charge of ABK, but he's in charge of Xbox Game Studios, Bethesda, and Zenimax. So, so, so why the, is ABK uh, separate? What's going on there? Because that'll probably come later, and, unless mm -hmm. they hire like a a second person to help Matt do his job. But maybe eventually they'll fold in his responsibilities for ABK. But um, yeah. So, what, what does this mean? To, uh, these promotions mean to you guys? It means Colt has new leaders to deal with. <laughs> Um, no, I, I mean, <laughs> your face. Um, it just, it just means I think they were very quick to done it. So this must have been planned for a while because they pretty quickly have decided these roles. And I think it's good. I think it's great. I think Sarah Bond's going to be really good at that because she will be intent on making her legacy known. She's the first female, um, pre, you know, head of something. Yeah, she's been and, doing uh, a lot for Game Pass. So. I, I can yeah, see that she's continuing. Yeah, she's done a lot for so. Game She was great at the um, CMA trial, and she just seems like she got uh, the this in energy and intent to to want and make Xbox something special. So uh, whether she can do it or not remains to be seen. But I'm quite confident in her. She seems very, 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 very capable. Um, but you know, that's not an easy task as well. By the way, she's overseeing Xbox, like the console. 
uh, thing. So is she going to tackle points on issues regarding the power and narrative? Um, how is she going to handle a lot of like the mid-gen console the PS5 Pro comes out? You're going to see a lot of people like saying the world's most powerful console, PS5, mm. PS5, PS5. Uh, and the pressure is going to hit like some Xbox guys going to like release a mid-gen console. We'll buy it. Um, will you actually make it? No. And then she's going to catch the flack for that, even though this was already probably decided before her time. A lot of premonitions uh, so, here from you. Yeah, no, but th this, is, this is what happened with Jim Ryan. A lot of people are assigning Sean Layden's good deeds to him. And he's, yeah, they did. During his, they did. Yeah, like all the sales and everything. Like Jim Ryan's a fucking genius. He's amazing. He's amazing. And now that he's li he's leaving, they were like, "Oh no, it was Sean Layden anyway." I'm like, "Uh huh." <laughs> you motherfuckers were giving him all the flowers and say Jim Ryan's a fucking G. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he leaves, he's just like, "Oh no, it was Sean Layden." Like, Even the day it announced, that. they were they were out there giving him his flowers, saying, "Well, he's done all this for us." And then a, a week later, all this com people are speculating that he was pushed out. Well, 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 Sean Layden. It was Sean Layden who did all that. They they just changed. And it's just stupid, mm. but that's that's fanboys no, for you, right? Yeah, just, but yeah, that, yeah, that's fanboys going to say that. I just shit. genuinely think non fanboying that like Matt Booty has shown that he has uh, the aggressiveness. We found that out in internal documentation uh, that we were privy to as part of these FTC. Even Phil, we got and, to see that dark side. Absolutely, you, you know the whole Nintendo thing, and he's just general uh, outlook on things. He was very core gamer focused, like he. He saw the PS5 specs and he, you know, he wrote to the team thinking that they were going to win and they didn't expect Xbox to be struggling or the Series X or the tools yep. and all that shit, whatever. So, um, there is that comp competitive spirit now. Uh, and like, ask most Xbox fans, they're not going to complain. Like, I was complaining yep. about these guys. Now I'm not complaining because I've, I've, I've had more information. They have not delivered and they haven't done a good job, by the way. Um, up until this point, but it seems like it's not for a lack of wanting to tr or trying. They tried it, but it just didn't work. Uh, so my battery's running Your out. Your camera but, battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an archaic thing. You don't but have generally, like, I was like. You don't have. I don't want to get phantom power because it just gets so much noise. Um, uh, and you know how susceptible noise these are to the noise sm7b's yeah 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 i do i do you're right you're right about that sm7b you can put your cell phone near it it'll start buzzing and stuff in your ear it sucks yeah well uh gaz is gone for the moment I, I'm, um, here, I'm here i'm yeah, here i know you're um, here. i think just to tail off the question are you more are you quite confident in this xbox now with this new change coming to manage everything i think it's still a wait and see thing for me i, I look it's no you have to be blind not to see that there's been management issues at xbox for quite some time um how deep it goes it depends on studios as well like there needed to be somebody to be ahead of every studio to actually yeah. be able to do things um and i think that Hopefully that's what's going to happen now where they can actually come in and step in and say, Hey, Bethesda, you're not going to put out a red fall like that ever again. Like yeah. there has to be that moment, uh, you know, or those moments in, in any business. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a wait and see thing for me. I, I've got to really see what they, what they're going to do, um, going forward with how these games come out. Um, are they well polished? That's the number one thing. Are these games well polished? Because, now that I've been running into issues like with Spider-Man 2, not to get into that um, game itself, but a lot of games this generation just seem like there's a lot of bugs out there. There's a lot of shit we're having to deal with as gamers, and I'm tired of it. And, every and, game. Yeah, every game. like every game And they've already been bugs. delayed six months to a year on almost every game. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, I would, I would argue with you about the management issue. I think some of the problems with 343 were mostly internal and now they're fixing them like big changes yeah but my point with that happen. is though colt don't you think that there, there should have been somebody above them to come in and try oh, to yeah, get those absolutely. changes and i i think that the the management issue is not really studio to studio but there is an issue where uh the heads that i don't want to point the fingers but somebody should have been saying a long time ago to some of these games um like redfall and and halo infinite like we're you know f the the return on investment 
Yeah. You're going to make more money when the game comes out later at a higher clip and a better quality. And publishers and even Xbox as a platform have not quite understood that. That, yes, I know you want your return on investment. You already delayed the game a year. But when you put it out like that and it just fails at the launch, um, which Halo even did a month after, right? It, it really hurts the value amount of that game and its longevity. And if Halo Infinite would have waited one year like Gaz and I asked for and got destroyed by Xbox fans and some people in the media, Halo Infinite would have been a much better product and it would have been high in the numbers much longer instead of having this long two-year wait. So yeah, um, that's what I, I just want all... I'm not saying this just Xbox. I want all publishers to hear this, that if you just wait and let your teams get the time to get the game right, you're going to get your money back in a much faster way than to just release a game half broken and and have everybody just say avoid yeah. that game well well here's the thing I, I will say this about matt booty i don't know much about the guy because i haven't really seen him doing in, in be in action at all like doing anything I, I don't know what he's done behind the scenes of course he's done things right but i haven't witnessed anything that i'm that i can think of saying oh he's done a good done a good job with that or this so but sarah bond we've actually seen her do things and and speak and been at several shows and everything and she seems like a really uh, great person and somebody that i i think can lead um so i i'm 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 happy with that like and i've seen s some naysayers out there even some xbox guys going i don't know about sarah i don't have a problem with her i i think she'll do great it's matt booty is the one that i don't know what the hell he's done like i don't know how great he's! Well, you have to understand what he I don't know. what he does. His yeah, job yeah, is he's to. Not the, he's not the face of Xbox. I get that. He's no, he reaches out to every studio and says, "What do you need?" Or yeah. they reach out to him and say, "Let's let's make up an example." Undead Labs reaches out to Matt Booty and says, "We're having problems with this. We're having this issue with technology. We can't do something because we don't have this. We need more servers for this, or we need we need more rendering." farms or whatever to be able to do this or we're having internal problems these this group isn't getting along yeah. with this group and it's causing uh, a really big delay in what we're building and, and matt booty has to put out those fires or say i'll go get that for you i'll go talk to phil say what kind of money can we because there's a certain amount each studio is allotted and they're constantly asking can we have more and matt booty's job is to find out if he can say yes or no is, is so, so we don't so see that what was that his job prior or is that his job now that's his job since he became head of okay, Game Studios see, in 2019. And, and that's where I say he, well, in my opinion, then he kind of failed in a lot of ways because we've we've seen like turmoil going on within studios that uh, at Xbox that, you know, should have been handled by him then. I, I, I well, I heard Just, that. I heard that Compulsion Games asked for a triple A budget for South of Midnight before we knew what name of the game was. Mm -hmm. And Xbox told them no. And I'm like, thinking, why did you tell them no? You have you you're we're waiting for new IPs to come out. You should be providing the best possible games you yeah, can to bring people to Game Pass into the console. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So. yeah. Gaz, you got anything else to say on this topic, or are you? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's all nah. Nah. I, I'm I'm done. It's it's been a dead pony. <laughs> By the way, Sappho in the chat said that Final Fantasy 16 sold better than Spider-Man 2 in Japan. I don't know what the numbers are or anything, me. but I, I could see that. I could see that. Um, in any case, I think we're done. We're done with the show, guys. It's it's almost an hour and 40 here together with these guys. I had a blast with you guys. Had a blast with the chat. Thank you very much for showing up, guys. Uh, with that said, Colt, can you let everybody know where they can find you? Uh, you can find me at Colt Eastwood everywhere. Just Colt Eastwood, one word. And it's good to be on your show, Fonz. And I appreciate you. I hope you're back in a, in a week or two. Probably shouldn't take you too long. Yeah, it I'll keep bugging you. Make sure you get your stuff set up. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to get it set up and going right away. Gaz, let everybody know where they can find you. Besides, you know, stoned as hell over there, it seems like. Sorry, uh, it's been a long day. Uh, this is the social media. My algorithm is just dead kids right now, so it's not oh, I shouldn't be looking. Uh, at yeah, shouldn't, be look, shouldn't be looking at Twitter. Uh, yeah, don't, sorry, I shouldn't be watching Wallace. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. Just ruined my mood. Um, yeah. yeah, man. But you know, just whatever's happening around the world, just be please be grateful for what we have, and for the people, our loved ones we have alive, for like sure. your parents, 
like and just like fonds like you you know this better than me yeah. now like you know enjoy the time you have with your with your parents and we're lucky and we have a great community and we we should just take a moment to um uh, make fun of spider spider-man 2 for being shit game um but yeah thank you so much everyone it was so uh, sentimental been... to that ending you had to septic sauce it up and i applaud you for it that was, that was great yeah shout out everyone thank you so much check out septic sauce when i deliver the madness you will know great things are coming Mm. thank you so much man no thank you thank you for actually showing up i i was worried there for a <laughs> moment up. anyways uh right. yeah i want to thank everybody who's uh, been here today everybody who's listening you know via streaming platforms and stuff i appreciate all of you uh before i go i was playing a lot of games this weekend i i forgot to say uh actually one game i was playing mario wonder mario brothers wonder with the family so uh, you know it's a 2d is it mario you? game it's a really good game. It's actually really fun with the family. Like it's, I, I had a good time with it. Um, so it's it's solid. Um, I didn't know that they could actually pull off uh, new mechanics and stuff in a two D platformer, but they have with Mario, and it's a really really cool cool yeah. game. So yeah, check I that out that if you haven't. Well, fucking hell, so many games, so There's many games, so this many year. games. By, by the way, I did get to talk about the finals. The finals is amazing. Like. What's, as what's a multi the I know you guys may not be. It's a multiplayer game, so it's like you. But so it's very arena based, like round based. It's very, very good. Um, very unique. It takes a while to get used to the controls, but I like it. The open nice. beta is still going. Um, so yeah, do check it out. Yeah, this um, game is. Yeah. I mean, this year has been so good for games. So good for games. Even though I, yeah, I've definitely. shit on Spider Man too in in a lot of areas, and I think it's well deserved. Uh, I, I'm still having fun with the game. Going to beat that soon. Um, and then move on to possibly Phantom Liberty. I think I'm going to go to that one next. Yeah, it's crazy time. Yeah, but there's so much to play, guys. Uh, I want to thank Boss Mod Lethal Papa for holding it down today in the chat, as usual, doing a great job. He really doesn't have to do too much here because, again, my chat is some of the best chat in the world. Great guys, great girls, great people in general. Thank you very much for showing up. Until next time, guys, which won't be next week, hopefully the week after. Game on.